Hi guys, this is Kumar. In this video, I'm going to talk about mitosis. So mitosis is one of the cellular division. So there are two types of cell division. One is mitosis and another is meiosis. So mitosis is exact copying of the cells. And meiosis is making of the sex cells, which are also called as gametes. For the, the example for gametes are sperm and the egg cell. So let's look into our mitosis. So mitosis, as I said, that is exact copying of the cell, which also means division of the nucleus. So we start with a one cell, and we have to make sure that that cell, which is having a DNA, and that same copy of DNA is passed to the other dividing cells, and that process through which the cell pass on its DNA to the other cells is mitosis. So why mitosis is important? So as you can see, life start with a single cell. And as we grow from this zygote into an adult, there are millions and millions of cells. And this, from a single cell to the millions and millions of cells, the process which make, make that happens is mitosis. And this lizard, it grows or it, uh, you can say, uh, regenerate a new tail is through the process called mitosis. And when you get hurt and develop a scab, the scab development is the process through mitosis. So, Mitosis is really important because the DNA in the nucleus is passed on to the daughter cell through the process mitosis. So let's uh, look at the stages of mitosis, but before we need to know two terms. One is diploid and another one is haploid. So let's suppose there is a cell and in which in the nucleus are DNA. So in haploid, has one copy of all of its DNA. So here you can look at this. So uh, DNA are organized in chromosomes. So let's name these chromosomes as chromosome 1, chromosome 2, chromosome 3. So we name the chromosome, it's from longest to the shortest. So in this you can see there are one copy of the chromosome. So that cell which has one copy of chromosome are called as the haploid and it's represented by n so here the n is three let's take another look at another cell inside the nucleus uh, there are the chromosome which are having two copies so let's name them as one two, three. So chromosome has two copies of, uh, chromosome one has two copies of chromosome here, chromosome two has another two copies, and chromosome three has two copies. So where in diploid, there are two copies of all its DNA. So here you can see diploid is represented by 2n, and here the 2n is six. Let's take an example of humans. In humans, what happens are the sperms are haploid, which is represented by N, and the number of chromosomes in uh, sperms are 23, and the eggs are again haploid, and the number of chromosomes in this are 23. So this sperm and this egg, they fertilize to make a baby and in the baby the cell each cell is having 46 chromosome or 23 pairs so here it is 2n that they have two sets of chromosome so let's look into this so here you can see that there are two sets of each chromosome. So here it's chromosome 1 which has two sets, chromosome 2 has again two sets, chromosome 3 has two sets. So 
this one chromosome is coming from your dad and this one chromosome is coming from your mom so here this 2n is equal to 46 and these are diploid since they have two sets of chromosomes so these are the terms which you need to know uh, before we do the cell division so let's look at uh, different uh, phases of uh, mitosis so mitosis is division of nucleus it only occurs in eukaryotes and it has four stages doesn't occur in some cells such as nerve and our RBCs which are present in our blood so there are four <coughs> mitotic stages one it's prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase so the first one is the prophase the second one is the metaphase the third one is the anaphase and the fourth one is the telophase so just to remember that you need to remember the first word p-m-a-t that is prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase so let's look at prophase prophase is divided into two early prophase and late prophase so in prophase what happens is chromatin in the nucleus condenses so if you remember the cell is having a nucleus and this is the cell membrane and inside the nucleus are the thread like structure having DNA which were called as the chromatin so these chromatin start condensing to make chromosomes and if you remember there were small stick like structures at the end of the cells and these were called as the centrioles so from these centrioles the thread like structure start originating in the early prophase so these centrioles are found at the opposite corners or the end of the cells and from these centrioles the thread like structure start uh, forming up So, what happens in late prophase? In late prophase, nuclear membrane and nucleolus are broken down. So, you can see that uh, outside the nucleus is nuclear membrane which starts to disintegrate. And inside there was a inside the nucleus there was a structure nucleolus. If you remember. So the function of the nucleolus was to make ribosomes. So in late prophase, this nuclear membrane and the nucleolus are broken down. And inside the nucleus, the chromosomes start condensing up. So that from the thread-like structure, they start forming a condensed form into chromosome and structure like this so if you look at the late prophase you will find the nuclear membrane disintegrating so in early prophase we have seen that uh, there were small stick like structure and they started forming the spindle fibers so what happens is these spindle fibers start get attaching to the chromosomes in the center which is through centromere so these spindle fibers are going to get attached with the centromere of the chromosome so that happens in the late prophase so let's review the prophase and prophase the nuclear membrane disintegrates and nucleolus disappear 
chromosome condenses, mitotic spindle, which are these thread-like structure, and the chromo you can see the condensed form of chromosome, and the kinetochores begins to mature and attach to the spindle. So these are the kinetochores and get attached to the spindle. So as we know, the spindle fibers are the mitotic spindle, which are a form of micro. They are formed from the microtubules and the centrioles in the animal cell. So what happens in metaphase? So you can see here in metaphase the chromosome attached to the kinetic fibers. So these are the kinetic fibers and you can see the chromosome gets lined up at the equator. So these are the pole of the cells and in the middle is the equator of the cell. So you can see all those chromosomes get started to line up and uh, equator. So review of the metaphase, the kinetochores attach to the chromosome fibers. So you can see these thread-like structure which are called as the kinetochores, which are formed from the microtubules. Uh, they get attached to the chromosome to the mitotic spindle and align them along the metaphase plate at the equator. Anaphase. So anaphase occurs really rapidly that it takes a shortest duration of time. So you can see all those uh, chromosomes which were attached with the centromere to form the two sister chromatid in the previous phase which was the metaphase. In anaphase what happens is their sister chromatids which were like this they are pulled apart to the opposite poles. So you can see, still see these uh, centrioles. These are the spindle fibers. They pull the sister chromatid to the opposite poles. And these thread-like structure are called as the kinetochore fibers. So enough phase review. The centromere divide into two, and the spindle fibers are pulling the sister chromatid apart. You can see that these are the sister chromatids being pulled apart. So earlier these two were chromosome with the sister chromatids. So these two were together. These two were together, and the chromatids are being pulled apart to the opposite pole. So telophase, which is the last phase of mitosis. In this, the sister chromatids are at opposite poles, spindles, disassembles, nuclear envelopes, which I was uh, disintegrated in the first phase, starts coming back, and each set of the sister chromatids are on the opposite poles, and the nucleolus reappears. And it's a time for the cytokinesis. And the chromosome reappear as chromatin. So those are with a single strand with call as chromatin. So cytokinesis, what happens is means me division of the cytoplasm. So division of the cell into two identical halves called daughter cells takes place in cytokinesis. And in plant cells and cell plates form at the equator to divide the cell. And in animal cell, cleavage for appears. So what happens in cytokinesis? You can look at this. The cleavage start developing up. And the cell plate in the cell plant cells are there. So that happens. And at the end, the cell divides into two cells, which are called as the daughter cells. And each cell has the same number of chromosome as each other as the parent cells from which they were formed and though likewise they are identical to each other but smaller than the parent cell. 
so the last phase of is the grow in size to become mature cells so that is a g1 of the interface